All right, welcome everybody tuning in. We have a best of five challenge between donor and stock. I'm sorry, a best of three challenge, not best of five, best of three between donor and stock. Okay, the map was a uh, ranked uh, random from the ranked map pool. Uh, we have donor and the red as the Celts and stock and blue as the Greeks. Um, the map is Big Island. We can expect both players to take advantage of the fishing. Uh, stock coming off of a loss versus uh, Smiga, which was a very hard fought battle. Make sure everyone tunes in to watch that match. Smiga now holding a first place. Um, this here will be a battle for second place on the best of three mid-level tier. Uh, Dona returning back. Dona has played uh, competitive before. And he is uh, returning to reclaim his crown. He was a very good contender when he played in the best of five series about a year and a half ago. And it will be uh, nice to uh, see him in the arena once again. All right. Stock and donor both wasting no time getting their docks on the water. Uh, we can probably expect a water battle, uh, but we will see. I know it takes a lot of uh, micro and macro to be able to fight on the water and on land. So we will see how much these two players want to invest. And uh, you know what? We can uh, go ahead and get a pool real quick. While there's... Okay guys, polling is open. Go ahead and get your votes in. All right. So from these two players, um, as I said, Donor is a mid-level player. He can compete with the best of them that are currently in the mid-level tier and also as well as uh, some high-level players. Um, so we can definitely expect from these two players that they will keep their uh, villager production going. They will have their queue uh, full as the game progresses. And uh, we can expect some very high level uh, macro play. Uh, this is a relatively big map. Uh, there's plenty of room to expand. There's plenty of resources on this map. Uh, the last time Stock and Smiga played on this map, they depleted every single gold mine. There was no gold left on the map. Uh, there was a major water battle going on. There was uh, merchant transports to try to bring in some gold income. And uh, that was cut off. Uh, Smega interrupted that transport. Um, both, both were struggling for gold. They were um, at 180 pop. And I think they both dropped down to about... 100 pop just from all the resources being depleted uh, That was an epic battle and like I said, you can all watch that later Okay, stock and donor both now reached the bronze age Okay, important to see storehouse upgrades being researched uh, Production building text being researched conditioning that is a must-have Storehouse economy upgrades are a must and let's see here, there is a swan ship for Donor. Donor, let's look at his vision. He knows there's a dock and he is gonna waste no time uh, attempting to shut it down. He does have villagers on gold. 
because these swan ships do cost uh, 100 gold. So we are going to see if he continues to uh, uh, keep up his uh, campaign with the uh, shutting down stocks uh, fishing operation. And uh, what what do we have here? I wonder if this was a misclick. Uh, look, I'm not sure <laughs> if this is a strategy <laughs> or what. And I'm not sure if Donor did this by accident because he saw this wall. Oh no, he couldn't have seen this wall because it wasn't started. He is going to see it now. So that must have been an accident. And this uh, swan ship is already uh, beginning to uh, kill these fishing boats. Uh, stock is going to try to get away. So we're going to be focusing on both. We're going to see if Donor reacts to this wall. Um, this is very interesting. I don't think this wall is going to serve. Okay, and Stock is not going to get away this time. <laughs> Donor is going to give chase. He is going to stay right on top of these fishing boats. Okay, one might get away. Uh, okay, as I was saying about this wall, I'm sure Donor will be able to shut this wall down. Um, the thing that it's going to do most is it's going to be able to control where Stock fights. Uh, this is actually shaping up to be a very nice strategy. Uh, you can see if he attempts to expand on this side. On the left flank, if he attempts to expand while you fight on the right. Um, instead of having a watch post, it's like having a, uh, a barrier watch post. <laughs> so now you can, all, you can block him as well as uh, see where he's advancing. So very nice, very nicely done by Stock. And it looks like Stock is, he is gathering, uh, no, he doesn't have enough stone yet because I guess he's building the wall. So he must not be going for a uh, fast second town center. So he's going for more of a modified uh, one TC push. And this one ship for donor is still trying to seek out that uh, Stray fishing boat. Okay, donor does have two barracks. Okay, he's getting an archery range now. Um, he wants to build up somewhat of a decent sized force to be able to take on uh, this Greek military right now. And it looks like he uh, did a very good job bringing back his swan ship, trying to keep it alive and uh, try to snipe some of these uh, military units here that are coming in. Okay, so very interesting play. Donor right now is being very patient. He knows he wants to build up uh, uh, a decent sized force here and it looks like he's gonna go with three barracks one archery range. There's a sacred grove. He needs that druid to help heal. And uh, Stock is going to play a little bit of a cat and mouse game with him right now. Okay, donor still being very patient. Doesn't want to um, engage if he knows he's going to lose. Doesn't want to throw away his military or overcommit. Uh, stock, let's see what stock has going on. Two archery ranges, uh, one stables. Still going to just commit and focus on this one TC push. Looks like he is trying to get back on the water with his uh, fishing boats here. Alright, so Donor was able to break free. 
so that he can uh, expand if he needs to. But right now, he is confined to this little space with uh, stock uh, trying to keep him contained. It looks like there's more than enough slingers here. 16 slingers you can easily take out these uh, Tuxodes. So Stock might want to think about transitioning to uh, Serisophori, which, uh, let's see, he does not have a stable just yet. And uh, you have to remember, Seris are so strong versus range units. Uh, one Seris could take out four or five Slingers, no problem. That's how strong they are. So all he needs uh, to take out these Slingers here or probably about three or four Seri Sofari. Because they have such uh, excellent Pierce armor. Okay, this is what we love to see. A lot of production here. Okay, now an armory uh, going up here. And Donor is actually on his way to the Silver Age. There's a second town center for stock. Now, we can expect once Donor reaches the Silver Age, okay, there's armory upgrades being researched now, um, we can expect to see Wood Raiders, uh, we'll see, he is gathering stone to, uh, get that third town center, um, he is safe on the water right now, he does have two Swan ships that are making sure that the prevent stock from, um, gathering and getting that boost and food eco. Okay, second town center finally up for stock. Okay, and here we go, donor now in the Silver Age. We are gonna take a look closely at his Q. Uh, first is the champion, long swords champion upgrade. And they are gonna be able to counter the uh, hypos, hypaspas. Uh, extremely well. Okay, so the results are in. And we have stock that is favored to win game one. Okay, let's look at the stats. Now they, these long swords are champion. 215 health, 15.6 DPS to the uh, 230 and 11 melee infantry DPS. But it looks like right now Stock has more. He has the numbers on his side. That third town center will attempt to go up and here comes the series. Okay, now that this uh, town center's up, let's see if Stock can hold on and fight underneath it, and he does not want to. He's just going to back off for now. Uh, let's get a villager count. We are at the 14 minute mark. 56 villagers for Donor, 58 for Stock. So Stock was able to pull ahead despite getting his second town center up later, and despite not being on the water. Okay, more armory upgrades being researched for Donor, so Donor will have the armory lead. Now getting Horseman in his composition. And Stock. Okay, Stock does have one armory upgrade. Researching uh, two more now, still in the Bronze Age. And uh, getting more production, more barracks, stables, archery range.
Okay, Fortress going up for Donor. Donor looking really good. Uh, both about even in overall population. Uh, both even in the villager count right now as well. Uh, one thing we don't see a lot of right now is we don't see a lot of druids from Donor. Um, actually, I don't think there are any druids right now. Okay, donor pulling ahead in the population lead. Still at 59 villagers. 61 villagers for stock. Okay, donor sending six horsemen on a raiding campaign. And he can do this because right now there is way too much Pierce DPS uh, for stock to be able to really push in the donor's base and get anything done. So donor can just hang back with his uh, military, he's uh, climbing in population right now. Um, he can try to just weaken the economy of stock as he sits back. And he is on a direct path with donor villagers trying to get on this gold mine. And they are all most likely going to be slaughtered here. Okay, yeah, none of them made it. Let's see if Donor has the loom. No, he does not have the loom. Okay, this is shaping up to be a very powerful uh, military here for Donor. If you look at his composition, oh, there's a lot of horsemen. This is a 180 pop military. 38 long swords, 15 horsemen, 18 slingers, 5 wood raiders. Stock on his way to the Silver Age, but it does not appear that he has enough to take on this military just yet. Donor appears to have a much stronger army right now, and also the. Uh, actually, I think they're. Even in uh, armory upgrades, but. Donor does have the uh, champion upgrades here, which makes his longsword much stronger. And there they completely annihilated Stock's military. And uh, remember what I said, guys, about uh, taking bad fights. Better just to back off, tower up, regroup, and re-engage. Okay, there's a third town center for Stock. He is rebuilding his military. He's got 70 villagers, but he does not have enough in the bank for uh, champion upgrades. He's very low on gold. He, oh, zero villagers on gold right now. More Woad and Woad Raiders in queue for a donor. More horsemen in queue. Macro is looking really good. Look at these units streaming in. Keeping his uh, population maxed out here while expanding on the map. Stock trying to build a market so he can sell some resources for uh, some gold. And let's see, he's now at 57 villagers, 52, and dropping. Uh, this might be the end for Stock.
It was a uh, very good aggression early on, um, but it was uh, a nice hold for donor. A uh, nice hold and even better counter. Okay, stop getting these uh, age three, these silver age units right now. Prodromos, uh, skirmishers, or peltas, hoplites. Stop now down to 45 villagers, 71 villagers for donor. Very beefy military, 20 horsemen, and now getting the uh, iron smelting upgrade. Uh, good effort by Stock to try to make something happen. Um, but at this point, Donor just too far ahead in Tex. Still staying maxed out here. If you look at his base, plenty of production. Getting all of his upgrades. Okay, GG. Game one goes to donor. Okay, we'll get the map choice here from stock. Almost logged out with the, without looking at the quest stats. Current military. Current villagers. Okay guys, the polling is open. Who will win game two? Stock or donor, go ahead and get your votes in.
I knew this was going to happen. Okay. Okay, stock as the Red Persian is coming off of a defeat on Big Island is fighting to stay alive here in game two. Donor, after a very dominant performance last game, is looking to close this series out with a 2-0 victory over Stock. Uh, Stock choosing Treasure Island after losing the last game. Donor and changing his sieve, which is an option for the loser. Uh, donor uh, having to change his sieve. Last playing Celts versus Greeks. Now Babylonians versus Persians. Okay, as I said, the map is Treasure Island. So there's a body of water with an island that these players um, can... Uh, Try to get two to gather resources or build a wonder. I'm not saying that's what I want. Okay, that's what we all want, right? We want to see a wonder victory on the island. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would definitely be hype. And then you got to make sure that your opponent can't get on the coast. Okay, both decided to open with the barracks. Sparabara already en route. To uh, donor's hunts, but donor is ready with three spears and good observation by stock to see that and not engage. He just wants to build up. Let's look pound for pound at these stats: 250 health with 11 DPS, 240 health with 9 DPS. So the Babylonian spearmen are much stronger. Than the uh, Persians, Barabara. Bara. Okay, five spears already out for Donor, and he is going on the offensive. And Stock is going to rally everything back and try to regroup his Barabara Bara to get ready for the attack. Let's see if he has the aid tent. Not yet. He is able to get it. It's only 50 food and 50 wood. Um, he did get hunting dogs. So let's see if he gets that aid tent here very soon. And Donor is not going to waste any time with the Sparabara. He just wants to knock these villagers off his hunts. Excellent job. Okay, but Stock has more than enough Sparabara here now to defend. They said our mission's complete, guys. Let's head home. <laughs> That's all he wanted to do. Temporarily interrupt his uh, gathering time. And that A tent is being researched now. Alright. Stock patrolling the coast. Doesn't look like either player is going to attempt to get on the water just yet. Right now, donor uh, outnumbered. Six Barabara to, it looks like it's going to be about three, four spears. Okay, Donor was late getting villagers on gold to continue his uh, spearman production. And Stock, being seasoned and experienced, and knew that he needed to keep at least two villagers on gold to give him the advantage. And we'll see if Donor can hold the line here. Okay, good micro by stock. And you can't micro too much because while you're moving, 
your opponent will get free hits. So you have to keep that in mind, Donor. Out of gold once again. And he is going to have to most likely uh, retreat from this hunting location. And yes, he's going to have to pack it up and go. Stock on his way to the Bronze Age. Donor, already in the Bronze Age, was able to get his Ziggurat up and now getting his second town center built. Okay, Stock says that's enough harassment for the day. He felt like he accomplished his mission. And uh, very nice, Stock, uh, Stock is going to try to sneak a dock in here. I think he was patrolling the coastline and has seen that Donor has not attempted to get on the water. Uh, let's see, but Stock is going to delay his second town center and just go for uh, fishing right now, getting his storehouse upgrades. Okay, stables being built now by Donor for his sec second uh, production building. And I'm sure Stock is probably anticipating that Donor will uh, have Asabara in his composition, so he is uh, producing Spearmen. Still patrolling the coastline to see if Donor is attempting to get on the water. Uh, right now, Stock has full control. That's exactly what he wants. Okay. So, Lancer's in queue now for Donor. And Stock building a stable for his second production building. And we will see Asabara on here on the map very soon. Also getting an archery range for Donor. Okay, no fishing boats for stock just yet. Okay, and Donor is going to see this if he hasn't already. Let's take a look at his vision. He has no knowledge of it right now. Okay, and now he does. So he sees it. And his response is to get on the water as well. Okay, the results are in for the poll, and we have Stock favored to win game two. Okay, Stock moving in to shut this down. Donor looking for a target to raid. Oh, and this dock was was completed or was not completed. But it's going to be denied is Donor Donor's not gonna worry about turning around right now. He's gonna continue to raid. Uh, very nice pickup by Stock and he killed that villager that was building that dock. Uh, just in time. Uh, donor didn't get there in time. So nicely done. Okay, right now Stock has plenty of food and plenty of gold. He wants to be careful not to lose too many villagers. There are, uh, let's see, five Lancers here. Okay, nice job by Stock to get these watch posts up. Okay, but Stock is probably in no position to take on this force. He's going to stand and try to pick off uh, a couple Lancers. 
And right now, donor with the uh, population lead with 43 villagers. Stock, 34 villagers. Definitely needs to get his population up. Um, okay, now he does have another stables. So still only one barracks, one stables. Let's see, there are now two archery ranges, two stables, and one barracks for donor. So, of course, like I said, the more production you have, the more you can produce, the faster you can produce. And that's where your macro comes in, that's exactly what you need to do. Oh, one hit from those lancers. Uh, keep your uh, fishing boats away from the coast. <laughs> Stock starting to catch back up in population just now. Let's see, 11 minutes and 16 seconds now. Starting to get his uh, second town center built. And Stock is doing a good job defending. Looks like there's multi prong raids and attacks by Donor, but Stock is doing a good job shutting that down. Getting net lures now for his fishing. Okay, armory being built for donor. And let's see, I believe Donor still has the stronger military here. Um, he is ahead in overall population, 53 villagers. Let's see, 41 villagers for stock. If stock can get more fishing boats on here, then that's really going to help him uh, later on. Okay, there's a market. Uh, going up here for stock. And stock wants to be careful not to take a bad fight. Okay, he does see donor's force is moving forward. And he's going to attempt to move in to cut them off. But we'll see if he can get there in time before they take out the stock. And Donor knows that they are on the way. Oh, and actually he's going to send all of his Asabara for a raid. 14 Asabara going in for a raid. While the rest of his military tries to engage this military. Okay, stock is going to try to do as much damage as possible. And Donor is going to take the bait and turn his entire military back to try to stop this raid before he loses a lot of villagers here. Already three, four villagers dead. Now he's moving to the wood line. And Donor actually is not going to turn around. He's going to press forward. And right now he has the better economy to do a base trade. And he has the better composition on his side. But there's a lot of destruction being done by these Asabara. Let's look at the villagers. He was up to 58. Now down to 42 villagers. Panic Tower going up now. Okay. And the Asabara are going to return home. To try to attempt to uh, clean up a little bit of this. Attack by donor. Let's look at it. stock villager count 41 villagers to 42 villagers. So both even in villagers It's amazing that uh, stocks stock survived for now A donor with little to no food
And nice job by Stock to try to keep his uh, villagers alive. Okay, these town centers are really helping Stock. I mean, donors fighting right in range of both town centers with both of these militaries. And the aid tent coming into play as well. So very nice hold. Stock still has his market here. He, do, he is on the uh, water with his fishing. He does have his net lords upgrade. He did repel this attack. He did a good amount of damage. Donors still have 45 villagers. Oh, but Donor was able to sneak onto the water, now getting a Byream. Uh, we'll see if Stock... Stock has plenty of wood and plenty of uh, gold. Does he have an archery range? No. Where are the bowmen? Okay, and this is going to be another shock for Stock. He does have enough resources to get a galley of his own. And there is no military except for these two uh, Asabara from stock. Okay, more Asabara and Spearman in queue now. And Stock has to be careful. Now, like I said, he does have enough resources. 175 wood, 50 gold. He could get two swan ships out right now and shut down this uh, attack here by Donor on the sea. Um, I know it's a lot different with us watching. We can look at everything and say, look, this is what he should do. Um, but we'll see if Stock uh, eventually realizes that. And also... Okay, there's there's the bowman now. There's an archery range. Okay, there's the archery ranger that just went up. Okay, so donor at one point was well ahead of stock in the overall population. Now about both are about dead even. 52 villagers for stock, 54 donor. And I believe stock is ahead in the armory. Donor is just now, he does have one armory. Upgrade. Okay, let's see if Stock tries to salvage his water operation. Okay, very impressive by Stock. He's really got his population up here. Now up to 59 villagers. He has a market. Um, he did have the armory lead, but I think they're even in armory tech now. Okay, stock is on his way to the Silver Age. Now with 64 villagers to the 54 of Donor. And Donor really struggling for 
food and gold. It looks like he has not attempted to get any fishing boats out on the water despite um, having a uh, birem out here to shut down stocks fishing. Okay, Panic Tower's going up for a donor. Okay, good micro by Stock to get his Asabara away from the Spearman. Okay, GG. Stock takes game two. Oh, yes, Mega. Very good series right now. Okay, so Donor tried to attempt to make something happen with uh, trying to get it back out onto the water. Uh, very nice recovery by Stock. I thought he was in a lot of trouble, but that's the power of these town centers to really help with your defense. Um, once Donor's meat shield was down and there was nothing but bowmen, these bowmen just can't fight under town center fire. Uh, it looked like Stock only had a few uh, Asabara remaining, and that's literally all he needed to clean up that attack because it was really looking like it was in Donor's favor. And uh, now we see that uh, Bowman, they just can't bring down buildings with those low numbers. I think, uh, Zeus, I think Madlib just came on. Okay, let's go ahead and put a point on the board for stock. Stock is finally on the board. Okay, polling is open for game three.
Okay, you guys. Third and final game of this best of three series. Uh, this series has gone the distance. Has been very exciting so far between donor and stock. Uh, both looking for this final point to seal uh, this series away. Okay, donor. Deciding to go with uh, Persia. He could have stayed with ba Babylonians, but um, he could not choose Celts again because he won with Celts. If you won with the Civ, you cannot play that Civ again. So, Donor going with Persia this time. He does already have his dock on this lake behind him. Uh, the map is Mountain Crossing. Across from him, Stock coming off of a victory. Uh, deciding to go with Greeks. Um, he did lose with Greeks on Big Island. So he was able to play with Greeks again. And he did win with Persia. As we just saw. And Stock wasting no time getting his dock down in the lake behind him as well. And we will see if this lake in the southern part of the map is uh, contested. This looks like a smaller one than they usually are. Usually they look a lot bigger, but uh, it's kind of kind of small from the standard lake that we're used to seeing. Okay, we'll see what these players want to do. If we remember the best of three be between Grungy and uh, Panagiotis, um, sometimes it's, uh, it's hard not to do, you know, just because you have a lake right behind your town center, um, to play a little greedy, you know, and then you have these choke points that you can, you can wall off and get your market line set up, um, and also try to get on this bottom lake, but you can fall vulnerable to getting rushed and we saw that before so you cannot let your guard down feeling safe knowing that you know your opponent has to funnel his way um, between these uh, cliffs so just like any map scouting is always very important but uh, if you know that your opponent can play, is known for playing greedy, uh, you can definitely capitalize on that. And you have to uh, watch out for the back door action as well. And Stock might see an opening here. I don't know if he spotted that or not. And uh, Donor could do the same. He could sneak around and get a dock and shut down stocks fishing. Um, but that's some pretty high level play. I know uh, I've seen high level players do that quite a bit. Um, Donor's not going to make the same mistake again. He is. Oh, look at this. Double barracks. Sparabara already in queue. Uh, villagers on stone. Let's see, okay, double Sparabara. It looks like he's gonna attempt to get on the uh, stone as well. Three villagers is more than enough to keep this Sparabara production going. And let's see if he does. Yes, he's continuing to queue. Um, he's gonna need a house here soon. Uh, let's see. Okay, sorry guys. Back to the action. Let's look here. Okay, Donor made his way to Stock's wood line. Stock is in H2. Donor on his way to the Bronze Age. 
And it looks like uh, Stock did a good job microing his villagers. I don't think there was a lot of damage done here. Um, he did knock him off his hunts. Okay, and with these uh, two defensive uh, town centers, um, it'll be really hard. Even Donor with his uh, uh, Pierce armor for these Barabara -bara are not really going to be able to get a whole lot done. And now with uh, Barracks and Hypas that can easily counter these Barabara, -bara, uh, there will not be a whole lot Donor is going to be able to do right now. Okay, it looks like Donor was able to get on this bottom lake as well. And let's see. Okay, here comes the hypos for stock. Okay, stock right now is going to be slightly ahead. There's Barbar -bar Champion, Net Lords for Donor, Pickaxe. Oh, and here, here it is. <laughs> Here's the backdoor action. Donor was able to slip by undetected <laughs> and he should have enough resources when he gets his dot completed. Okay, there it is. It's completed. He has the resources and the pop space for a galley. There it is. And there will be virtually nothing Stock will be able to do. He is going to lose this fishing while donor will have control of all three lakes outstanding while stock was uh distracted with donor's uh spar bar rush donor was able to capitalize and now shut down this fishing operation but these fishing boats are saying you know what we're gonna fight to the death and they're not gonna stand much of a chance but they're gonna try Maybe they can repair each other while they're shooting. No? Okay. Okay. Stock with the better counter units here. Able to repel this attack. Okay. The results are in. We got game three going to donor. Uh, and let me quickly tell Ares. Okay, Ares, if you were watching, you are next. So stand by, please. Okay. Stock with the overall population lead, 40 villagers, uh, 36 for donor. And uh, Stock was able to get a trireme out here and reclaim the, the lake. Oh, nicely done. A nice dodge. That villager, okay, now this villager is gonna lose his life. It was a good effort. Okay. Okay, nice job, Stock. Definitely in the lead here. 47 villagers, 95 overall population. Okay, Donor trying to get a force build up here to defend. Stock was unable to rally all of his units because he had to uh, shut down this stock before Donor attempted to try to reclaim the water. Okay, and Donor's going to be able to repel this attack. Let's see, Spearman Champion being researched for stock, Conditioning being researched for Donor. You want those units out faster. You want that training time, minus 30% training time. And you want that speed as well. 
Okay, let's look at stock space. More production going up. So one barracks. This looks like it's going to be three archery ranges. One stables. For now, let's look at donor's base. Two barracks. Two stables. And two archery ranges. Okay, stock has discovered that donor is fishing for free. And... That is one thing you don't do, is you do not let your opponent fish for free. So he is going to attempt to shut this down, but he's going to need more than uh, two series to do it. And here comes the rest of his forces. Donor is not going to pay attention to this right now. He wants to move in with his military and try to do as much damage as he can. And this is going to prompt Stock to... Okay, maybe he's not going to pull away. But here comes these villagers. Let's see where they're going to be going. Okay, a lot of action going on right now. Stock trying to shut this stock down. Um, donor again fighting between uh, two town center fires. Stock's base is set up very nicely for him to defend this. And at the same time, he will... Okay, there was a galley that was able to get out now. And it looks like his Tuxodes might be in range to take this out. Okay, stock on his way to the Silver Age. See, 58 villagers, 108 population to the 54 villagers, and 94 overall population. Donor did lose all of his fishing boats, but he is desperately trying to hold this position and save this dock. And now he's going to rally his military over to attempt to save it. Oh, and he is going to lose the dock for now. And nice pickup. Stock trying to move out onto this gold mine is going to be intercepted. And now he's going to try to send forces to try to salvage the rest of these villagers and let them return home to their wives and husbands and children. Alright. So now it looks like it's stock on the back foot. Donor building up a large force. But now with Stock being in the Silver Age. Okay, there's the Prodromos. There's the Peltas. NQ. Donor. Trying to get the dock rebuilt. And get that fishing operation up and running. Okay, major battle going on here. It looks like Stock wants to stand his ground. He does not want Donor to advance. Donor does not want to give up any ground either. And Stock has a market going up here, so he also doesn't want to lose this position. Um, he's running low on food. He has plenty of wood, plenty of gold. Looks like he stopped producing units for now but he okay now finally is Q okay there we go and I know this is hard stock was able to get up a wall but I know it's hard when you're distracted there's a third town center for stock there's a market that's gonna give him uh, close to 300 maybe 270 280 gold and a very large force here for donor stock really fell behind in the military lead he is getting peltas and uh hoplites and it looks like donor has an armory stock does have an armory but no armory text because he doesn't have enough gold okay and there's the panic towers going up
<laughs> Good job by Stock to get these villagers out of harm's way. He's gonna try to get back onto that gold mine. Let's see. Is there a gold? There's not a gold mine over here either. Okay, there's a gold mine here. Oh, and he was spotted almost immediately with these units rallying back. Let's see, his market is still standing. He can sell some resources. I think that's what he did. And donor almost maxed out. Stock really declining. And villagers, military population. Let's see if there's the same result again with uh, donor fighting between these two town centers and uh, tower fire as well. Let's see, stock now at 56 villagers, 63 villagers for donor. Okay, donor looking very impressive. Donor just all over the map making sure that stock does not expand anywhere. Uh, stock attempting to cut off donor here by getting a wall up. Only 40 villagers now for stock, and this looks like it's going to be the end of stock. Donor with plenty of resources in his bank to keep the production coming. Stock can get some gold. He might be able. No, they're they broke through. Okay, donor. Look at donor's base here. Very nice. Very good macro. Okay, donor looking very impressive. Stock, very nice aggression. Uh, let's take a look at the stats here. Okay, they were even in text. I think that came down to uh, just the uh, composition 